what is up my butter biscuits y'all I just recently talked about this in my Brad Pitt video. I feel like all these celebrity skincare lines are just way too much. And I feel like everybody kind of like walks very cautiously when they're talking about new skincare lines. Only because the whole like big drama with Alicia Keys when she first came out with her brand. Like Manny MUA said something and James Charles said something and everyone was like, oh, down their throat. And I actually made a video about that too. And I said within that video, of course, anybody can make their brand if they want to make a brand. However, everybody is still fully entitled to have their opinions. Like I feel like at the end of the day, like say for example, if like I mentioned before in my previous video, you know, if John Goodman comes out with a skincare line, it's so out of left field. Like, obviously, everybody is fully entitled to be like, what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? If you guys did not see my video about Brad Pitt, like, y'all... I just could not believe those price points. And now we're going to be talking about Jared Leto's skincare line, which is called 29 Palms. And this price point is up there as well, too. Not as bad as Brad Pitt. And before we even get into this video, I do want to say... Not that I'll be supporting his brand, but I think I would rather purchase skincare from Jared Leto than I would from Brad Pitt. Maybe that sounds a little bit messed up, but I just feel like, I feel like Jared Leto's aging really well. Like, y'all, he's 50, literally 50 years old, and I feel like he looks absolutely amazing. To be honest with you guys, like, I found out his age, I think, when he was, like, 47, and I was, like, in shock because I literally thought he was, like, maybe, like, 29, 30, and I'm like... How is he that old? How is he that old and looks that good? Like, I feel like he just looks ageless. However, I still have my opinions about him coming out with a skincare line. I really do feel like, like, y'all, enough is enough. Like, Jesus Christ, I feel like everyone and their mom literally has a skincare line, a makeup brand. And then on top of that, too, just like Brad Pitt said and Jared Leto saying the same thing, that it's gender neutral. I said that within my Brad Pitt video. I'm sorry, but that really grinds my gears. I hate when people say stuff like, oh, it's gender neutral. I feel like they're specifically only doing that for, like, the people like Andrew Tate out there, you know what I mean, who are just... So, I don't know, they just have this like chip on their shoulder about like skincare or hygiene is gay. Do you know what I mean? So, it really frustrates me because I'm so sorry, but every single skincare brand out there, every single skincare brand out there, I don't care if the bottles are even pink, they are gender neutral. So, this whole like new thing of calling it gender neutral, I don't know if it's just a selling point. I don't know if they're doing that to just make uh, like straight men feel comfortable. I really don't know what it is, but it just kind of frustrates me because I'm like, every single skincare line is gender neutral. Like, it's literally for men or women. That's just it. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, we're going to be talking about his new skincare line called 29 Palms. I'm sure, obviously, as you guys can already tell, that I am just kind of like, eh, about it. Look, I'm not saying... You can't come out with a brand and you can't come out with a brown because uh, brown who <laughs> you can't come out with a brand because obviously at the end of the day, who am I to say? You know what I'm saying? But like I said earlier, we're all still entitled to our opinions. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like if I came out with a line of treadmills. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like, what are you doing coming out with treadmills? Do you know? Like, it's just not going to make sense. Anyways, before we get into this video, I have a favor to ask. I'm going to be bugging you guys big time because I'm being, like, really, really serious about my second channel. Please head over to my second channel. It's actually brand new. I upload videos every single Sunday there with my brother. It's our travel channel. And we just have so many videos planned. And I want to make sure you guys are in the loop. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys watch the videos and give them a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Every single Sunday, I upload new videos. And it's all travel related, whether it be, like, trying new restaurants, trying new hotels, cruises, like, just all types of travel stuff whatever goes with hand uh, with what with handle what whatever goes hand in hand with traveling is what we're going to be doing on our channel so i already have four videos up there so make sure you guys go give them a thumbs up i would really appreciate that make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it i forgot to update you guys as well too this is day five after microneedling i put on some foundation for the first time after five days or oh, actually six days it's been six days now um when i previously filmed my two videos where i didn't have no makeup on at all that was two days ago and i was a little bit crusty you know there was a little bit of dryness there is still a little bit of dryness however it's way better so I did put a little bit of foundation on mixed with my sunscreen and I did not set it please tell me why I kind of like the way it looks like this is just the Giorgio luminous silk foundation literally just one like tiny tiny little layer like normally I do build this up a little bit more but I'm like you know what maybe I don't mind some of my redness showing through a little bit there's only a tiny little bit showing through I feel like it looks really good anyways y'all <sighs> let's go ahead and get into the skincare brand right here I just, I don't know. I feel a little bit frustrated about this whole gender like neutral thing. This actually came from Pop Crave as well too. It said, Jared Little announces 29 Palms, a gender neutral line of skincare, body care, and hair products. I just, I don't know. Like, am I the only one out there that literally feels like, like y'all, like you don't need to have gender neutral. Like it just, ugh, it frustrates me. Anyways, you guys know how I feel about that. I'm going to be reading an article from, I believe it is a voguebusiness.com. And this is what it says right here. Jared Little is getting into the beauty business. The actor is launching his first consumer brand, 29 Palms, which by the way, I want to say like, is Jared Little even from California? Like, why is he calling it 29 Palms? 29 Palms is in California, if you guys didn't know. It's a desert. Uh, I think it's, I think it's kind of by like India. 
Indio, Palm Springs area, I think. I could be wrong. I've never been there. Anyways, uh, which he describes as an eclectic and non-traditional creative presence. Among a slew of big uh, celebrity brand launches, can Gucci's most famous Mel Muse cut through? At launch, there will be 12 products for the skin and body, including a facial cleanser, which is $39, facial moisturizer, $87, hydrating serum, $67, uh, $69, a clay mask, $95, hand and body washes, each $47. Hand and body washes for $47, like y'all, I, I just, I, I think I said this before about Tatcha, when Tatcha like came out with body care, I'm like, maybe I just, I don't know, maybe I'm just too cheap when it comes down to body care, but I could not imagine spending $47 on a body wash. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like all my life I've been using like Irish Springs and like Old Spice and I'm like, my body seems fine. Like, you know what I mean? It feels moisturized, feels good to me. So that's why I'm like, I could not imagine spending $47 because with $47, I could probably buy like, I don't know, maybe like 20 bottles of what I use. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I just don't understand that. And shampoos and conditioners, each $54. There will also be limited edition scarf featuring artwork by Swiss artist and photographer Douglas Mandry. The range will be sold via the brand's e-commerce site as well as Dover Street Market stores in New York, Los Angeles, and London and it's beauty store in Paris. Also, I forgot to mention before we even get into this like whole everything of the products, I don't have a full breakdown of them because there is no details um, on it yet. <sighs> Y'all, I said this recently about like Kylie Jenner's launches. Like I wish that they would have the stuff before it came out so that way people can talk about it. I feel like these brands that have like oh, we're coming out with this, we're coming out with this, and then they don't talk about it until the day of launch. It's kind of dumb. In my personal opinion, I feel like if I had a brand, I would put out the details, I would put out the ingredients, I would put out all that stuff beforehand so that way people can obviously have it in their minds if they want to purchase it or not so that way they can budget it or like say, hey, I'm going to be purchasing soon. Like, do you know what I mean? There's kind of really no details about it. So that's why I'm reading this article from Vogue Business. I am going to be reading his post from the 29 Palms Instagram page because I really really need your guys' help with that. Because I don't know if I'm just dumb, but I just don't. I'm not really getting it. Like, I'm reading his post, and I'm like, what does this have to do with beauty? What does this have to do with skincare? What does it you have to do with, with hair care, body care? Like, all of the things that he's posting on there, I'm sorry, but it's like, it, seem, it seems like he's trying to be so eccentric. Do you know what I mean? Which I feel like he is eccentric, but I feel like he's trying so hard. And I'm just like, you're coming out with a skincare line. Like, what's up with all of these weird messages? I will read them later. Continuing on right here. 29 Palms is intended to be bigger than beauty and will extend into other categories, including fragrance, home goods, and design objects. Expect more creative collaborations in 2023. This is a quote right here. 29 Palms is a creative playground with many products in development, says Leto, who was in London for the city's contemporary art fair, Frise? I don't know how to say that. Frise. I don't know. It is a place where my creative and business interests intersect. Leto is um, already an investor in over 200 companies. Some of his more fortuitous investments include Slack, Spotify, Uber, Airbnb, and Reddit. I did not even know that. Oh my gosh, he is invested in some good stuff. Like, see, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like when you have so many, like, investments, like, why do you need to come out with something else do you know what i mean especially when like you're an actor you're a singer like y'all he is super talented i do have to give him that like i feel like he could sing i feel like he could act like he is super super talented i just feel like going into the beauty space is just i don't know riding the bandwagon do you know what i mean Anyways, moving on here. He also has uh, lent a hand in co-founding social network The Hive. Don't even know what that is. Streaming provider VYRT and experiences company adventures in Wonderland. Don't even know what that is as well. However, he claims that in his latest venture represents his most significant move to date in establishing a brand. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just... I don't know, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into some of these things right here. There's this one thing I want to talk about. I don't know exactly what it is in this bottle that you guys can see from right here. I have several different pictures of it. Um, Oh, I guess it's the clay mask. I see right here. This is actually a post from Makeup Crazy. So it says 29 Palms Rock Rose Clay Mask. I would like to know where they have these little shop now links. I looked all over Google for it before making this video because I really did want to talk about the ingredients that were going to be in some of his products. However, this that she had posted or they had posted, sorry, um, on Makeup Crazy. I could not find where it has this because if you go to the actual 29 Palms website, it literally just says sign up now to be the first to know. Um, but y'all, I wanted to talk about this right here only because I find it to be a little bit ironic that he is like a Gucci uh, spokesperson. He's a Gucci model or like, I don't know what you consider it. Like he's a spoke, yeah, spokesperson, right? Spokesperson for Gucci. And this bottle that you guys see right here, which is the 29 Palms um, Rock Rose Clay Mask, which retails for 75 pounds, which obviously is way more. 
I want to say, because I have a bottle of Louis Vuitton cologne, it's literally the same bottle. Like, do you guys see this bottle right here? Like, legit, look at this bottle. And then look at the bottle of... <laughs> Look at the bottle uh, that he's coming out with. And I just found that to be really ironic because clearly, like, I'm sure he knows what Louis Vuitton cologne looks like. Do you know what I mean? And I just found it to be a little bit ironic that he works for Gucci. But then he's coming out with a bottle that looks like Louis Vuitton. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, these are all of his products right here. I do want to say the packaging does look cute. Like, I really do love purple. I'm sure you guys already know that. I love a purple. I love a little ombre-ness. Like, the packaging looks really good. However, I want to say, like, nothing looks too spectacular for the prices. Do you know what I mean? I feel like even with Brad Pitt's stuff, his his stuff was just way too expensive. Like, honestly, y'all, like, the price points of those were, like, were making me nauseous. I was like, y'all, like, you could literally, like, I was going to say pay a mortgage, but no, you can't. If you bought all the products, you could probably pay a mortgage in, like, Arkansas maybe something like that anyways his products are not that badly priced like like um brad pitts however they're still really bad to me because i'm sorry y'all but like tatcha to me is considered high end to me and i feel like it works just great so like going into a celebrity like i don't understand their price points i feel like because they're rich they're out of touch with reality and you know what's really crazy to somebody like jared little he probably looks at these price points and thinks that they're affordable and i'm sorry but you're so out of touch with reality if you're coming out with like a 87 dollar cream and calling that affordable do you know what i mean Anyways, let's head on over to the Instagram here because this is what I was talking about, you guys. And I'm so sorry, but to me, I just, I don't really understand the whole, um, oh my God, I lost my little page here on Instagram. I don't really understand all these messages that he's posting on there because y'all, like I said, maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe I'm not like the biggest Jared Little fan. So I just don't really understand what he means by all of this. But these are his posts right here. This is it. Day 014. Entry 1. I've waited for this moment for such a long time. Strange to think it's almost here. Signing off. Marin. Is that like his real name, Marin? I, I, I'm so lost. Anyways, entry 2. The Mojave Sky is the stuff of hallucination. Signing off. Marin. <laughs> this is literally on the 29 Palms Instagram, y'all. Satellites... Oh, sorry. Entry uh, 3. Satellites blink at one another in silent communion. More stars than I've ever seen. Signing off. Marin. Y'all, maybe I should have looked up his name before this because I... I I don't know if that's his real name. Anyways, y'all, entry number four. Five nights in a row, I've had the same dream. I'm in a small boat floating alone on a lake. The boat is leaking, but I don't panic. I can see the shore. I know the way home. M. Continuing on here. Entry number five. I wake, aware of my body, itself in orbit. My mind is sharp. It crackles with potential. M. Entry number six, which is the last one. I'm learning the desert signals for an approaching storm, gathering dust, electric charge, the earth rising up to meet the sky. M. That's literally all the post on his Instagram page right now for 29 Palms. I just, y'all, maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I just don't get it. Maybe I'm not that eccentric. Maybe I'm not that clever. I'm not really understanding what all these posts have to do with a beauty brand, with a skincare brand. I just, I don't get it. I really don't get it. And maybe you guys do and you guys can dumb it down for me in the comments because I'm not really understanding. Like, what does this have to do with anything? Do you know what I mean? Anyways, y'all, once again, these are the products right here. And just in case you guys are interested in them, they are coming out on October 25th and I am 100% not interested in them. I'm sorry to say this. And I know that like, you know what? Go ahead and cancel me if you want to cancel me. I'm really at the point in my life to where I really don't care. Like, I genuinely don't care. My opinion is my opinion. And that's just it. If you guys feel attacked by it, if you guys feel bothered by it, I really don't care. I just just feel like this is nonsense. I just feel like celebrities coming out with skincare lines all the time is just, I don't know, it's a bit much. Like we already have oversaturation of product out there. Like the only thing that I wanna see from a celebrity is affordability. If they come out with a very good quality product with great ingredients, then I, for an affordable price, then I would be on board with it. Do you know what I'm saying? But like Brad Pitt coming out with like a serum that's 300 and something dollars and him coming out with a cream that's $87, like things like this that I see, I'm just, I don't know. I feel like it's a cash grab. I feel like they're really just trying to, you know, I don't know, take advantage really of their following or take advantage of their fans. Do you know what I mean? Only because I'm like, y'all, let's keep it real. Do you guys really think that the cream that he's going to be coming out with, you can't find out there for like, you know, 30 bucks, 25 bucks. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. 
I'm just not for it. And like I said, go ahead and cancel me. It's all good. I really don't care. I feel like like if you're coming out with a brand, I'm fully entitled to have my opinion. I feel like everybody was just so on edge with uh, Manny MUA and James Charles when they were talking about Alicia Keys. And I'm so sorry, but like even I said within my video about that, like I was like, of course, she can come out with a brand if she wants to come, up with, uh, come out with a brand. Jared Leto can come out with a brand if he wants to come out with a brand. However, we're still fully entitled to our opinions. And I really do feel like, especially when it came down to Alicia Keys, it kind of seemed a little bit hypocritical that she ended up coming out with like beauty products when she's so anti makeup makeup like why are you anti-makeup and you're coming out with a beauty brand do you know what i mean at first it was more like skincare related but then now she has like you know blushes and just different beauty products and i'm like you know what i mean it just seems a little bit off just like i said earlier it's like me coming out with a line of treadmills like y'all that's if i come out with a line of treadmills y'all know that i'm trying to scam you like let's just keep it real oh my god speaking of scamming i completely forgot to tell you guys in the beginning of this video there is scammers all around youtube right now if you guys see in the comments like somebody using my name and my profile picture and it does not have a check next to it it is not me i have been seeing so many scams and then my channel actually a couple videos people have been doing that so i've reported it however they're still popping up. So make sure you guys are really smart with that. Anyways, if you guys plan on purchasing this, please let me know. Um, and let me know why you would plan on purchasing this. Because I really am curious about that. Because for these price points, like, oh my gosh, I just, I don't understand it. But if you guys plan on purchasing it, let me know. And if you guys do purchase it, let me know if there's any products worth it. I will be honest with you guys, you know, that way I don't sound like a hypocrite. If there's a product that he comes out with that has like amazing results and everyone's raving about it, then of course I'll try it. Do you know what I mean? However, looking at it from afar in the beginning and just the whole like cash grab feel that I'm getting from it. Do you know what I mean? That makes me not want to try it. But he, if he does come out with a product that is like going to like retexturize my skin and like take away this little creepiness from around my eye, then I'm gonna buy it. Do you know what I mean? But I kind of doubt that. I kind of doubt that only because I've tried so many skincare brands, affordable and non-affordable, and they're still not a miracle in a bottle. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.